Hello, it's March 20th. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been on here. Um, today I just want to talk a little bit about another side effect from the cancer treatments. Uh, very rare, but of course I got it. Uh, osteonecrosis of the jaw, the lower jaw. Um, because the cancer was in the bone, they had me on, it started out Iridia, and then we switched it to Zomeda, and it's a biophosphate that they are using now for osteoporosis and helping with um, bone deterioration, but your jawbone has a different density than the rest of your bones in your body, and so this medication has um, the potential to destroy your bone, osteonecrosis, um, deterioration of the bone. So um, I had a tooth pulled and I was told if I ever had a tooth pulled to stay away from the bone and so the dentist took a couple of extra hours trying to get that tooth out without disturbing the bone but he he did have to crack the bone and sure enough a year later it still hadn't healed um, antibiotics repeatedly um, going in and having it cleaned and flushed and it still didn't heal. So there is a trial that they're working on, they believe will work, um, hyperbarics. And they use it for um, people wound healing to you go into a tank and they um, pressurize it as if you were diving in water except there's no water involved and the oxygen pressure is as if you were diving so many it's the PSI's pounds per square inch but anyhow um, it's supposed to push oxygen into those wounds to help um, speed up recovery and healing and so I had to do 40 of these treatments it was eight weeks um, Monday through Friday every day and it took most of the day because you're dealing with oxygen, you cannot have hair products, um, contacts, no soaps, nothing on your skin when you go in. Um, they lay you on a bed and they shove you into this, this glass tube and then pressurize it and you hold your breath and blink and, and make sure your ears are popping as you're going down. And then they also, when they bring you back up, you have to do it correctly or you can get the divers call it the the bends. Um, it's cramping and everything. So um, that was about five years ago, and it worked. It, the healing is is there. Um, I have pain every now and then, and they told me that I would probably have to do those dives hyperbaric every five years. But as of right now, it, everything seems to be doing good. Um, so if you have had biophosphates for one of your cancer treatments and you're having jaw pain and everything there is hope the hyperbarics is is a study that Duke University was working on or is working on and it's showing promising so anyhow just wanted to share this have a good week and hopefully I'll be back next week thank you bye